After 20 years at war, tens of thousands of people killed, the Taliban has seized control of the presidential palace in Kabul. The Afghan government has fallen, the president has fled the country. Now thousands of civilians and foreigners are desperately trying to leave the capital of Afghanistan. This comes just weeks after the final Allied troops withdrew from the country. And it's really relevant here in Brisbane because, of course, for many soldiers, much of the defence community has committed years, in some cases decades, to trying to help here. If you're part of that community, we'd love to hear from you this morning on how you're reflecting on what's unfolding in Afghanistan. 1300 222 612, if you've lived, travelled, worked, share your experience of Afghanistan because this is a really difficult time for Brisbane's Afghan community. Dr. Noor Khalidi is president of the Afghan Diaspora Community Council. Dr. Khalidi, good morning. Really appreciate you taking the time to talk today. Uh, good morning, Rebecca. What's, it's good to be with you. What is your reaction to what is happening in Kabul right now? Well, to be uh, uh, frank, I'm shocked. Unbelievable. Couldn't expect that uh, uh, the things to go that fast as they went, lost 24 hours. Uh, unbelievable. I'm very concerned about safety of people in Kabul. Kabul is a very big city, like six, seven million people who live over there. And uh, suddenly they, 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 they lose their government. Uh, they do lose their sense of security. Uh, they, uh, it's absolutely unbelievable. Are you speaking to family or friends, uh, contacts on the ground? In, yes. And what are they saying? Well, actually, yesterday, uh, last night, actually, like 11 o'clock in the night, I was uh, messaging with my uh, some of my uh, family members in Kabul and some other friends, and uh, the situation was uh, they were we were concerned about the uh, plight of people who moved in to the city from other cities, like from Kunduz, like from uh, uh, North uh, Ghazni and other places, and they were living on, on the streets and on, on the parks, and there was no shelter, nothing. We were trying to organize some assistance for these uh, refugees, to say, internal displaced uh, people, thousands and thousands of families. Uh, the, uh, but we were not expect, and the government was saying that they were they are moving to provide uh, assistance to these internal uh, displaced people. But uh, uh, suddenly we don't have a government uh, mm. to take care of it. Indeed, the the Afghan president Ashraf Ghani has fled the country, saying in in a Facebook post that he didn't want to see bloodshed in Kabul. What do you make of his decision to flee? Well. Uh, this is unbelievable. You know, all the scenarios of uh, peaceful uh, handover of the government to a transitional authority has went through the window and throw out of, uh, thrown out of the window. And uh, we don't know who is behind this, uh, this dramatic, you know, dramatic uh, uh, change of events. Uh, he uh, looks like he had no choice because... Uh, Americans have uh, effectively, they, they uh, were sending uh, 3,000 soldiers there to evacuate their embassy, and they were, you know, all these uh, shuttling helicopters from the embassy and palace and other places to the airport. It looks like the Americans were engineering something. And uh, uh, there were talks of uh, they, that, that they br brought somebody from America to take uh, over as an interim uh, uh, president. Um, uh, that oh, uh, didn't happen, you know. And uh, uh, I guess, you know, he had uh, no choice uh, uh, because the whole army groups in uh, not only the capital but the surrounding cities like Jalalabad, Ghazni, uh, uh, Logar, they, were, they just put down their arms. The whole army groups uh, trained by Americans, by British, by, by Germans, by Australians, they just put their arms. What was what force was behind that? I can't comprehend. Because, uh, say, Kandahar, uh, Jalalabad, Kabul, up to yesterday, were in government hands, mm. and uh, and and there were hundreds of thousands of soldiers to 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 treat, uh, you know. Um, armed with the latest, uh, you know, uh, gadgets provided to them by Americans and, and the British and others. And yet now, yeah, the capital in crisis. 
crumbling, yes. taken over. And only yesterday I was hearing from Taliban saying they will not enter the city, Kabul. Uh, they will sit behind the the, the, the gates of Kabul uh, to us off the, uh, you know, the peaceful transition. They will move in. But this didn't happen. Now we, I could, I just saw uh, one of the commanders of Taliban. I, I was watching Al Jazeera live from presidential palace. He just claimed that he spent eight years in Guantanamo Bay jail by the American. He was sitting on the chair of the president of Afghanistan right now. This is unbelievable. Dr. Noor Khalidi, who is in Brisbane, he is the president of the Afghan Diaspora Community Council, uh, watching in disbelief uh, at the inconceivable situation, the 20 years of war, as you heard Dr. Khalidi say, whether it's the British, uh, the Americans or Australian soldiers who have been there trying to provide assistance all coming undone in a very rapid period. Dr. Khalidi, about how many Afghan people uh, live in Brisbane and live in Australia? Well, in, uh, in Brisbane, uh, in 2016 census, I'm a demographer, by the way, so mm-hmm. I know this better than anybody else about the Afghan population in Australia. Yeah. Uh, to my calculation, 2016 census-based data, it shows like about 5,000, uh, 6,000 uh, Afghans were living in, in, in Queensland. All together in Australia were around 71, 73,000 people, majority in Melbourne and Sydney. Uh, now, in new census, I expect that to go around 100, 110,000. Wow. So that's a significant uh, portion of our population. And as I mentioned, the, whether it's through uh, local connections, uh, travel, through defence, there are a lot of people whose heart is just uh, going out to your countrymen this morning. What, what do you think can or should happen now, Dr Khalidi? Well, the whole thing is now... Uh, the, 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 the security of people, provision of uh, essential services to the displaced people. In, there's not one uh, thousand, two thousand, there's millions of people in all cities because they fled, people fled from uh, villages to the city town centers mm. all around the country. Uh, first of all, because Taliban starts from villages, they took the villages and, and district uh, centers. They moved to the town, uh, city centers, and now they have taken city centers, and now they've taken capital. They all, so these people don't know what to do. I know there's no authority to provide them with any help. And, and, and sorry, Dr. Khalidi, just to jump in there, what, how do the Taliban want to uh, run Kabul? Like what kind of a, 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 a city and a, and a circumstance do they want to preside over? Well, this is absolutely different city than... Uh, or, um, no, all of Afghanistan, uh, particularly Kabul, is different than 2001 when they were defeated and left. Kabul is a metropolitan uh, 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 city with like six, seven million people, a very, uh, you know, um, a modern uh, thinking uh, people. They, they, they have, you know, all the standards of, you know, many, many of them, middle class and, and you know, there are uh, 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 ten scores of universities and, and uh, scores of TV stations, mm. scores of, you know, uh, 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 everything, uh, 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 that people of Kabul is uh, like like any other city, like yes. Brisbane, like others. Now these people are, are looking at, at at their new masters who are coming from seventh century. Now this is how be unbelievable that you live in twenty first century and your masters would be seventh century thinking people. Is it is it women and girls who will most? Uh, absolutely, the women and girls and youth. And youth, because youth are nowadays, you know, uh, with the smartphone, with the internet, with the YouTube, with all these Instagram and others, they are right up to date with the world, you know, uh, mm. technology and, and knowledge and everything. Now, and yet, at this stage, it's the Taliban who are who have rolled into the city and are taking control. Dr Khalidi, I'm going to leave it there. I really appreciate your time and we will keep in touch. But thank you so much for sharing uh, to some extent, your, your emotion, your despair at, at what is happening. I appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. You're, you're most welcome. Thank you. Dr. Noor Khalidi, President of the Afghan Diaspora Community Council.
So he expects, uh, he says there's about 100,000 uh, Afghan people living in Australia now watching on with horror at what is happening.